So we're just a couple of days away from the much-awaited Pixel 8 launch, and as expected a plethora of Pixel information has been leaked. So let's get right into it. To begin, if you pre-order the Pixel 8 Pro, you will receive a new Pixel Watch 2. And considering the Pixel Watch 2 is expected to cost roughly $350, that's a pretty good pre-order value in my opinion. If you're leaning towards the regular Pixel 8, you'll get the Pixel Buds Pro for free. Now, keep in mind this offers for the US, and pre-order deals can vary by country, so double-check before you hit the order button. And, in case you're wondering, these are the phone's official costs. The Pixel 8 Pro remains the same price as last year, while the Ordinary Edition has seen a $100 price increase. Then there's Android, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro will be the first handsets to launch with Android 14 out of the box. Other manufacturers will follow in short order, presumably when the Android Open Source Project's version 14 has a full release after a number of delays over the last few months. Google also shows off some eye features, with the new one being the best take which uses AI to change faces in photos. I'm most interested to see how the night sight video will perform because it basically uses AI to evaluate a burst of shots and select the best one, helping you to capture that perfect moment. Similar to how night sight changed the game for photographs, if Google succeeds in doing that, I can't wait to watch how that plays out. Next, we got some hands-on pics of the Pixel 8 Pro. I'm a fan of curved displays. But I've got to admit, the Pixel 8 Pro with its thin, uniform bezels might just outshine the Pixel 7 Pro in the looks department. They now have a matte back instead of a glossy one, which is a good adjustment. The foam in the porcelain color isn't the highest quality, but it gives us an idea of how it looks. There are also official images of the Pixel 8 Pro and Pixel 8 in each of their several color options if you prefer high-resolution images. Lastly, the marketing materials show off the official silicone cases for the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. The Pro comes in bay, charcoal, mint, and porcelain colors, while the Pixel 8 gets rose, mint, charcoal, and hazel. They kind of look like last year's cases. With the Pixel 8 series, Google is essentially stepping up its AI game. We might be in for a completely different smartphone experience, and Google with its Pixel phones might have an advantage, especially with the potential for future phones with generative AI, like ChatGPT or Google's Bard. I'll see you again tomorrow, so please subscribe for more tech content. Goodbye.